The Lupercalia was an ancient Roman festival which took place on the 15th of February around the Palatine Hill in Rome. Its main ingredients included blood, milk, flour, salt and wool, and some curious whips made out of goat skin. The proceedings began at the cave called the Lupercal. This was the spot where the she-wolf was said to have nourished Romulus and Remus. On the day of the Lupercalia, a group of chosen men and boys assembled at the cave. These were the Luperci, an ancient priestly brotherhood. Things got going with an animal sacrifice. A goat, maybe more than one, and sometimes a dog too. The animals were sprinkled with mola salsa, a mixture of flour and salt that was made by the Vestal Virgins for use in Roman rituals. Then they were killed and a knife was dipped in their blood before being passed over the foreheads of two of the young men. The blood was wiped off with wool soaked in milk. The goat's hides were then taken off and cut into strips. Some of these were used as loincloths for the luperci, but others were made into whips. Then there was a big feast. After the feast, the luperci left the cave, ran around the palatine wearing their goatskin loincloths and waving their goatskin whips. As they ran, they lashed out at people who had gathered for the occasion. The goatskin whips were thought to bring fertility, so the crowd included women who wanted to become pregnant. But the festival had other aims too. February was the month of purification, and the goatskin whips were sometimes called februa, or purifying tools. So the Lupercalia was about cleansing the city and community, and also about providing reminders of its legendary origins. Who knows what happened to the goatskins after the festival was over? Were they burnt or maybe saved as a kind of relic or souvenir? Next February, the festival would happen all over again and it would be the turn of another goat to help bring fertility and purity to the Roman people. <laughs>